Hey everybody, I'm back. It's uh, Clayton from House of Sticks Cigar Reviews, and today I'm smoking probably one of my go-to cigars. It's one that uh, I keep a, almost a box around. I just got about 10, 15 of these in, and I wanted to uh, review it. I haven't really spent the time to think about the flavor profile and uh, what I would give it as a rating, so I thought I'd set time aside and share that experience with you guys, of course. So. Today it's the Figurado, and it's a 6 inch by 52 ring gauge. It has this beautiful box pressing, it's square, you can see, and it has a Ecuadorian Sumatra seed wrapper with a Nicaraguan filler from the Hayapa region of Nicaragua. And I'm looking forward to smoking this today. I have to say it's been a long week. It's Friday, Friday night, baby. We'll get this thing started and I'll let you guys in on a little secret about how it tastes. So hopefully you guys like that and I'll get to it right away. So I'm gonna light this thing and then I'll come back in a little bit and I'll talk about the first third, second third, and the final third. So, and then I'll give you my final rating at the end. You may see Bowie around here tonight. He does have a cone on his head. He was neutered. He is a two-year-old Greater Swiss Mountain Dog, so keep an eye out. I'll give a dollar to anybody who spots him first on the on the comments section. So whoever wants that dollar, you gotta earn it. So look out. Anyway, I'm gonna get this thing lit and then we'll start talking about flavor. Again, House of Sticks, I'm Clayton. Talk to you soon. Hey everybody, I'm back and I'm smoking the Oliva Siri V Milano and Figurado, Figurado, whatever you say. And it's six inch by 52 ring gauge. And the flavors at this point, it's, it's a salty sweet cream with uh, a pepper on the finish of, uh, of um, the taste. So immediately at the start, and at the jump, you get this sweet, salty puckeriness. And when you exhale, you're getting this very nice pepper. So, very, very, very nice. Now, Oliva sells boxes of 10 of this, and they run 12 to $15, depending on what size you get. So, they run around 120 to $160 for a box, depending on what you're what size you uh, desire. So very, um, very mid-market, I would say, for uh, the overall cigar market. They also have, uh, I believe it comes in four other sizes. There's one more larger than this. I don't know if it's a Churchill or uh, a Robusto Gordo, but uh, there is one size up from this. And as far as flavor initially, and what uh, I would compare this to, I would compare this a lot to the AVO Nicaragua Synchro. I uh, usually smoke the Toro in the AVO, and they're both medium-bodied cigars that have a finish, I would say, that's focused more on the full side. So if you like that initial medium, sweet, salty body, and then with pepper kick at the end, that's what this reminds me of is the AVO. So um, I think Oliva, Oliva did a very nice nice job here, and, and the shaping and construction is just oh, it's exquisite. You can see it's burning very even. I mean, usually I get a Figurado or a Torpedo, and it doesn't doesn't exactly burn correctly because of the shape so this is definitely um, not one of those experiences so anyway um, I'm gonna smoke this for another maybe 20 30 minutes get to the middle third and the half of the stick maybe the first band this has two bands 
It has the Milano band, who is the founder and uh, the first member that really got involved with the tobacco trade. And it's called the Milano Gran Reserva Limitada. And then you have another band with the Oliva brand logo and the Siri V moniker. So very nice presentation, construction, and flavor so far, salty sweet with the pepper on the finish. So uh, I'll be back in a little bit, a few seconds for you, about a half hour for me, but uh, talk to you guys soon. Hey everybody, it's Clayton and I'm back. You can see that uh, I'm about uh, to the first band here. I just took it off, it was getting close. So one thing I have to say is this has been a fun cigar to smoke. Uh, so I talked about that salty sweetness at the beginning with the pepper on the back of uh, the draw and exhale. But now it's moved into a softer, mellower, uh, milk chocolate salted peanut nutty flavor at this point not an overwhelming uh, pepper as a lot of cigars move to as you as you go through at this point it's a nice medium bodied cigar exactly what I think most people can can enjoy but it does have that slight fullness with that peppery body on the exhale at the beginning of the cigar in the first third but here in the second third it's very faint it's just an after taste at the end maybe a little bit of uh, pepperiness nothing overwhelming so very nice so far and uh, it's it's a very uh, tasty cigar it's got the milk chocolate as I said and the nutty sort of salted peanut flavor not overwhelmingly salty at the beginning, a lot of salt. Here, not so much. And that just sort of developed with time. It just sort of brought the level of uh, sharpness down and became a lot mellower. And I'm enjoying it. So I'm gonna smoke this again for another 15, 20 minutes and I'll be back. But until then, I want you guys to think about what cigars you want to see on this channel and I'm uh, this channel's for you it's for anybody out there that enjoys cigars and if you like a typical brand uh, a, a atypical brand I would say put it in the comments I'll find it and I'll get it and I'll smoke it and I'll tell you what I think about it if uh, you uh, are die hard about any uh, sort of specific cigar I'll find it and I'll get it the only <laughs> the only thing is is that Due to my own personal uh, uh, monies issues, I will not be uh, purchasing any cigar that's over about twenty-five, thirty dollars. So um, I would also welcome any donations as well. But so look into that, and uh, I'll be back in a little bit to tell you how it's going and uh, what I think of the final rating for this thing. So I'll be back soon. Hey everybody, I'm back. I have maybe uh, three quarters of an inch or so left on this Oliva Serie V Milano Figurado six inch by 52 ring gauge cigar. Now, in my last check-in, I was talking about how it was a very nice, mellow medium, sweet cream, nutty peanut, salted, salted peanut type flavor with a little bit of pepper. And as I entered the, the final third, the smoke production, it was very full at the beginning and throughout the middle third, sort of slowed down. And also the burn line, it almost stopped, I would say, for maybe five minutes. And then it began going again. And that's probably because um, it, the cigar's opening up, the airflow is, is picking up, and it's, it's changing its burn dynamics, I'm guessing. Uh, I'm not a, I'm not a, a uh, thermal physicist, so I can't tell you for sure. So, there's that. Anyway, moving into the final third, the flavor is full on, full bodied, so full squared. Okay, it is peppery, and 
and it is spicy. So it has a, a initial pepper on the nose and on the body as it sits in, and, and, and goes throughout your mouth and palate, it becomes spicy. It's like a, it's like a, a, a hot pepper, an Italian hot pepper or Hungarian hot pepper. Um, that you might eat. I don't know if you, anybody's had stuffed peppers, but when you eat a stuffed pepper, it's nice and sweet and sour at the beginning, and then it becomes very uh, spicy as the body and the capsaicin, which makes the heat, um, goes throughout your palate. And very similar to this, it's the peppery, the black and white pepper, it's a, um, hits you on the nose and then it spreads throughout your palate. So very nice. Uh, I've had a lot of cigars that have been like this on full category. Um, one that comes to mind is the, I believe it's the Don Pepin Special Reserva and it's a, it's a Corona Gordo. But anyway, very full cigar and very heavy. I actually had to put it down at the two inch mark and I have a review coming up here soon because it was just too strong. I couldn't, I couldn't smoke it any longer, I had a headache. So, um, but here it's nice because you start off with a medium full, goes to a nice mellow medium for most of the cigar and then it's ending with this punch of full flavor. So, what do I think this deserves as the final rating? And what has it actually earned? That's the thing, it's earned. Ratings are earned, right? So, this is, I would say, a four star out of five. This is a cigar that I smoke very regularly, as I mentioned at the beginning. And this is one I'll just sit around and smoke on a Saturday or Sunday, maybe on a Tuesday, Wednesday night if it's been a long day, but uh, it, it it's not the best of my go-tos. Now, coming up in a few more reviews, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to introduce you to what my favorite cigar is at the moment, and if you guys can guess it, I'll send you five cigars of this. I'll give you five sticks of this cigar, okay? So, if you can guess my favorite cigar of the moment, I'll give you five sticks of it. So, please comment, let me know. Anybody who hits it first, I'll give you five sticks. So, those of you who have watched to the end have that special opportunity. So, and anybody else that uh, comes up with it, I will keep you in mind for a free t-shirt giveaway. I have uh, some t-shirts on order that I'm going to be getting and their house of sticks i'm gonna i'm gonna burn one down with the tagline on the logo so those will be coming as well in the near future so please get involved let me know what you think uh i should smoke next whatever you want i'll find it and get it as i said before and in, in the middle of the review so this is the oliva siri v milano figurado in size six inch by 52 ring gauge and it is a four star cigar this is a, um, a very solid cigar this is one of oliva's priciest cigars some people think olivia oliva's should all be under ten dollars but this is one of their grand reserva limitada um, cigars and it, it's very well made that's all i can say and it's constructed and the consistency is solid. I have smoked about, I don't know, um, 10 of these and every single one of them has the same flavor pattern and how it, how it's, how it develops and how it ends. And because of that, it's a great cigar to buy a box of. So let me know what you think of this review and I'll see you next time. So I'm Clayton. This is House of Stick Cigar Reviews and I hopefully I'll be seeing you guys soon. Stay tuned and uh, hey now.